Hi everybody, it's Lisa Murray here. Hi my sweet lifers. Listen today in Sweet Life in Christ with Father Andrew. We are hanging out, priest and an artist, doing our thing. And today we're talking about Miriam. Yes. So tell me about Miriam. Yes. So Miriam was only one of the four, um, depending on you know what tradition it is, one four four, um, four um, female prophets that were that were um, that were um, that we know of, aside from Deborah. Holda and Noadiah. Um, so, and she's a pretty important prophetess. Uh, she was the sister to Moses and Aaron. In fact, um, in the Exodus account, when if we remember Moses when he was a born, um, they wanted to hide him from Pharaoh, so right. they put him in the basket, yep. put him in the Nile. And in the Exodus, it, there was an unnamed sister who was there watching this. Well, tradition and and uh, and um, I'm trying to remember the name. I think I can't remember. Who brought who who attributed this? It's names on the tip of my tongue. It'll come to me probably when we're done with this video. Right. But one the tradition was that it, she was the unnamed. Miriam right, right, was right. the unnamed sister who was there. Um, so she witnessed Moses um, go down the Nile, and, and you know there she was found by the he was found by the Pharaoh's uh, maidens and, and sister and all that, and um, and so she was separated from Moses until the Exodus of. Um, um, the the uh, uh, um, the God's people from Egypt. Mm -hmm. So as we know, she was a very important figure in getting the people out. You know, Moses set it all in motion, but it wasn't just Moses yeah. leading him. It was Moses, Aaron, and Miriam. Uh, Moses led the males out. Miriam was in charge of the females, of the women. So she was the leader of the women um, in the group of travelers who were, who wandered the desert, who were on their way to the promised land, the land that God uh, promised us flowing with milk and honey. And so in Exodus, she is described as a prophetess. So yeah. she is, um, um, she is the prophetess, just like Moses was the prophet, who led the people out of Egypt. In fact, she was the one who led, you know, we the, the different songs. There's different songs to celebrate or to praise a moment that happened in the Exodus. Right. Um, song of Moses led the song of Moses. She did the song of the sea after the Pharaoh's army was destroying the Sea of Reeds. So she led this great worship song, this great uh, song that was, um, that was sang to extol God's greatness and, and then became an important person for the people as they're making their way through the wilderness. Um, now, in a little unfair twist, I'd like to point out um, it, with Miriam, Miriam and Aaron, eventually after they, after they left Mount Sinai, uh, Moses married either an Ethiopian a woman or a Cushite woman, depending on the translation. Okay. So it, either the woman was Ethiopian or Cushite. Um, but they spoke out. Both Aaron and Miriam spoke out against this marriage. They said this shouldn't happen. Uh, so that which God came down in a pillar cloud to say, stop, <laughs> rebuke them. And, and showing the supreme authority, prophetic authority that Moses had over all of them. And, and basically saying, this is how it's going to be. And you're not going to say anything about it. You're right. not going to question Moses. And, and really God's, um, you know, leading in Moses life. And so what happened out of that, as soon as the cloud left a skin infection, infected Miriam, which we think is leprosy. That is, that's probably leprosy. Um, Aaron, begged Aaron didn't get anything. He didn't get a skin infection, just Miriam. Um, so Aaron begged for forgiveness and asked for her to be cured to Moses. He begged Mo Moses for forgiveness. He, and then please ask God to cure uh, Miriam, our sister, which Moses brought it to God. And God said she has to be cast out for seven days of the camp and then she'll be brought back in and cured. And she did that. She, ca she um, left the camp for seven days, came back and was cured. But here I'm thinking, well, that's not fair. Aaron didn't. <laughs> Aaron, equally, yeah, equally Aaron questioned, and he didn't have a skin condition, but, um, but, um, but you know, that's just the way it worked. Um, you know, it's the same kind of the same as uh, uh, Neum, uh, 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 John the Baptist's father, um, um, uh, uh, 
Nicodemus, uh, Nicodemus. He, you know, he questioned and he re went mute. Mary questioned and she, she didn't. So, you know, they, they, we see it's these. It's random. Yeah, it's random. It's random. Um, I think God had his yeah. favorites. Yeah. I hate to say that because yeah. it's not very nice. No, but you but, can see there's a little bit of yeah, things there's, to there's, I mean, he obviously favored Moses over, um, he chose Moses to lead the people. Yeah. And so, and, you know, also probably to... To as an example, you know, oftentimes Jesus was you. He he said, "I'm using this this moment as an example to show people God." The raising of of Lazarus was specifically because he wanted to show God's glory, mm -hmm. and so sometimes that may happen. Maybe that's what happened with yeah. Miriam. He wanted to use this as an example why you shouldn't, um, you know, go against Moses and go against God. Um, but at the end of the day, even though she um, had that, she was still strongly favored. She right. was still um, beloved. Uh, eventually, she died, um, and uh, um, the people buried. She died at Kadesh when they settled at Kadesh, and the people buried her there. And when she died, the water dried up, and the people were thirsty. And um, it was eventually we know the rock, roses struck the rock, and water started gushing out. Um, I should say she is highly thought of as the three, three leaders of the Israelites who are escaping Egypt with three special gifts. Um, the three gifts, the three over obviously were Moses, Aaron, and, and right. her. Her gift was water. She was right. known for water and being right. the well. After she died, and he did that, struck that rock. That was the became the well of Miriam. The water of Miriam, and it was really Miriam's gift that Rose, Moses did that provided that water for him. After she died, when everything dried up, uh, they're able to drink again. Um, and in fact, so water became you know she became known as water. That's her symbol. Um, you know, and she's also in 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 um, in, in, in feminist movements. She is a she she's a, a a important figure in some feminist movements in Christianity and and Judaism and all that. Um, in fact, in Judaism with the satyrs, some will put you know we have the wine right um, for Elijah. We have some would put a glass of water to honor Miriam. Um, others would some uh, Orthodox Jewish uh, satyrs would have. Uh, fish on the table that represented water of Miriam. So, right. so she because she became known as the you know the the vessel of water, the the well of Miriam, and and that rock was carried with the Israelites along with the covenant and all this stuff. That rock was stayed with them as they continued to move and journey. So in a way, the well of Miriam was always there mm -hmm. after you know it initially not dried up, and and so you know she. Again, we we focus on, and we talked about this with the matriarchs. Right. We focus; it's it's we tend to focus on the men, and and overlook the important work women did in the Bible and right. Scripture, and and leading God's people. And Miriam wasn't, you know, in in a way equal with Moses and Aaron as leaders of right. this group, and and she was an important figure, and she provided the water for the people. She provided all that, just like Moses provided the manna. Um, and, and and you know she 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 should be honored, and we should honor Miriam right. for for her faithfulness, her devoutness, her 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 leadership. Right, she was a leader. Right, and um and in that we can see that women they they they, they can be leaders. They lead our church. They 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 they're important, and the women of the Bible are important, which is why we're focusing on why we're right. doing this whole. That's the whole purpose of this. Right. To look at women have a really important, prominent place in Scripture and God and, and people's experiences with God. And yeah, our relationship it's interesting. With God. I mean, when we were, I was trying to think through, and, and we've been thinking through this together, the development of the series, the development of this yeah. particular playlist, it's really important to me to make sure that we not only gave a full description of answers to questions yeah. that I get and you get, yeah. When you start talking about Episcopalian yeah. faith, and obviously the disciples are a no-brainer, I yeah. know that's for sure. But yeah. when you really start digging deep and trying to really figure out who all else is in there and what all can we learn from yeah. them, women are very prominent. Oh, yeah. And and like we talked about earlier, men are important. Yes. But yeah. <clears throat> there's a lot of stuff that doesn't get done without the women. Exactly. Too. And, and there's the teamwork. It and is. dream work. And women need to be studied yeah. and looked at as well. It is. And the women, oftentimes it was a woman who was the person that set something in motion that needed to happen. Again, we 
you know, the wedding of Cana. It was Mary who saw the need for the wine. The wine ran out. It was Mary, the mother of Jesus, who saw the need, went to Jesus, the source who can fix this, and said, you need to do something about this. He said, I'm not ready. It's not my time. Just like any good Jewish mother, who she knew her son and her son was perfect. He was ready to go. You're not too young. Go. And yeah. she told the attendant, do whatever he tells you. And she knew he was going to do that. That led to Jesus' first miracle. It was the women who first who encountered the resurrected Jesus and told the disciples. It wasn't Peter. It wasn't John. It wasn't the disciples. It was the women. And they went and they were the first preachers of the resurrection. It was a woman who did that. So women are important in the Bible. They are important in Scripture and they're important parts of our faith. And they help us. These women who've done great work, even after Scripture. And they're important today, yeah. too. Yeah, the, 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 the women saints. <laughs> yeah, St. Catherine. Well, you yeah. know, all these women, they are in, in, integral parts of our faith. And I don't think our, we, we would be where we are without the work and contributions of the women in, our, um, in, in the Bible, the women of our faith. And, and that's why we're doing this. And Miriam was one of those. Right. She was a wonderful leader who, who cared deeply for all these people. She cared deeply for Moses and Aaron. And and she was also a heck of a leader. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah. Well, listen, guys, I hope you found some value and learned about Miriam. If you did, do us a favor, like and share. Don't forget to ring the bell. And we'll see you next time on another Sweet Life in Christ. Take care.